Hi everyone. Today I want to share with you how to plant paper whites. Paper whites are tender bulbs that produce beautiful snow white fragrant flowers with strappy green leaves. They're hardy in zones 8 through 11, but most gardeners choose to grow them inside during the winter months. They're a form of narcissus that don't need any pre-chilling in order to flower inside the home, and they'll be in bloom just four weeks after planting. Paper white bulbs can be planted into potting soil or they can be nestled into pebbles and grown over water. To plant them into potting soil, choose a nice strong vessel with a drainage hole and fill it almost all the way to the top with moistened potting soil. Then place lots and lots of paper white bulbs into the potting soil, pointy side up, and then once they're all in the container, we're just going to backfill with soil just so that the very tip of the bulb is still exposed. Now that we have our bulbs in our potting soil and just the tip of the bulb exposed, I'll give them a really nice drink. And now say you prefer to grow your paper whites over a bed of pebbles. It's really fun, easy, and beautiful. All you do is fill a watertight container with about three to five inches of pebbles, and then nestle the paper white bulbs into the pebbles, leaving about half of the bulb exposed. And then what you wanna do is go ahead and fill up the vessel so that the water will reach just below the base of the bulb without touching the bulb, because bulbs that sit in water can rot. So now our paper whites are planted and what I've discovered is that if I can get my bulbs to send down roots before they start to sprout, I wind up with stronger stems that can better support the flowers. If you want to give this a try, just put your newly planted bulbs into a cool dark place for about a week. Ideally, the temperature in this dark area should be 50 degrees Fahrenheit, so I use our unheated basement but a closet or a cool kitchen cabinet that remains closed would also work. Now, after this week in darkness, or if you skip the darkness period immediately after planting, place your containers into an area that's relatively cool, about 60 degrees Fahrenheit, and receives bright, indirect light. Bright and cool temperatures will keep our plants growing strong and growing upright. But don't worry if a few stems fall over, you can just tie a beautiful bow around the display, or you can do what I like to do, which is make a nest with twigs, and that really helps all your paper whites stay upright. If you're growing the paper whites in soil, keep the soil slightly moist as the paper whites grow. And if you're growing in water, just keep the water level right below the base of the bulb as they grow. And in about four weeks, they'll be in full glorious bloom and they'll be perfuming your home with fragrance. Now, paper white fragrance can be kind of a polarizing topic. You either love it or you hate it. But luckily, thanks to new and improved breeding, there are lots of great varieties to choose from. The most commonly sold variety is called Ziva, and this is the one with that strong, classic paper white fragrance. But the variety I'm growing here is called Nier, N-I-R, and this variety, as well as one called Inball, have a much more subtle, light perfume, and Nier is one of my personal favorites. After your paper whites are done blooming, you can choose to either cut off the flowering bloom stalks and treat the foliage as a house plant, or you can just discard the bulbs. Paper white bulbs are inexpensive and they don't generally return reliably after being planted and grown inside the home. Now, while most paper whites are grown for holiday displays, I really love to grow them all winter long. I plant them every four weeks all the way through March so that I have a constant succession of paper whites blooming inside my home. If you want to hold the bulbs over, just keep them in a cool, dark place that's about 40 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit until you're ready to plant them. Well, I sure hope this video was helpful. And from all of us here at Longfield Gardens, happy gardening. Bye.